What's up you guys, Avery here, and today I wanted to discuss five things slash cards that Neos and Neospatians need to be a better deck. With the reveal of the new Neos support, I wanted to take the time to really figure out what it is that Neos could use to be a better deck. Now by no means will this deck become tier 1 unless Konami just releases the most broken support ever, but with the right type of support, they could easily be a very good tier 2 or rogue deck similar to Flundries. Sure, the deck isn't tier 1, but it's anywhere from 1.5 to tier 2 to rogue due to the cards it has access to. So be sure to smash the ever-living crap out of that subscribe button. Be sure to hit the like button as well, and I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Without any further ado, let us dive right in. At number five, I have a Elemental Hero Neos Retrain. Now, obviously, you have to play Neos to make your fusions, but I mean, come on. The card is a vanilla that is pretty much a brick. A new Neos card that has its name treated as Neos on the field or in the graveyard would solve two things. One, the deck would have access up to six copies of Neos in a normal 40-card deck, and two, the Neos Retrain could make summoning the Neos fusions much easier depending on what type of effect that it has. This is really what the spirit of Neos should have been. It should have been a retrain of Neos where it could be treated as Neos while on the field or in the graveyard, but they didn't give it that effect, which kind of really sucks just because of the fact that a Neos retrain would help the deck so much in my opinion. And no, Neos alias doesn't count. That card is trash. Geminis are way too slow in today's age of Yu-Gi-Oh! Now you might say, but Avery, Dark Magician decks have to play the OG Dark Magician. It isn't a brick. However, you have to keep in mind, Neos has nowhere near the support that Dark Magician has. So they either need to release a retrain or more Neo-centric support to help summon the monster. At number four is more Neos combo starters. And by this, I mean more cards that help facilitate plays to get the deck going. We all know about Neospace Connector, but Neos decks also have access to Neospace Pathfinder that allows them to get Neospace from the deck or graveyard to their hand. Neither Connector nor Pathfinder are terrible, but these are the only two Neospace monsters we have that are Neos-based. Hell, these are the only two Neospace cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! besides Neospace itself or Instant Neospace. Having more cards that help with building boards would make the deck have easier ways to make plays and build boards. At number three is better fusion monsters. And by this, I mean ones that don't bounce back to the extra deck at the end of the turn if you don't have Neo space on the field. Now, we've already seen Konami do this with a couple of the Neos fusion monsters where even if they do bounce back to the extra deck, they have a pretty broken effect to go along with that and they have pretty good effects while they're on the field. We need to see more of this if they plan on releasing more Neo space fusion monsters because the old ones just aren't going to cut it. Neo space, the field spell is a garbage card and relying on that and keeping it on the field without having to play inconsistent cards like Field Barrier to keep your Neospace Fusions on the board, they need something better or they just need retrains of all the Neos Fusion monsters. And that what's interesting to note with that is that if you watched my video from yesterday talking about the support, they kept out Air Neos from the instant contact picture of the card. So it makes me think, I wonder if they're going to release an Air Neos retrain because Air Neos OTK was a deck way back in the day, so maybe because it was popular, maybe they'll release an Air Neos retrain or release retrains of all of the old Neos fusions. Hard to tell at this point, but it's something that could really help the deck because you're only as good as the cards that you can fetch out, so by giving them better cards, it would make the deck overall better. At number two, and this is probably going to be my most controversial one that's going to get me some hate, but give them hand traps. They already have Honest and Neos, but give them hand traps specifically for Neos or Neospatians that can stop effects. I'm thinking Herald of the Orange Light type of things. Could you imagine if Neos decks had their own Ash Blossom? They got their own Instant Fusion type of spell, so I think it's safe to say that anything is possible at this point. And you don't have to give them anything super broken like you know, Herald of the Orange Light type levels with support that lets you recur the Herald of the Orange Light, but just something that can help be an interruption, even something like a Subterror Fiendus for Neos, I think would go a long way for the deck. It wouldn't be super overpowered. 
And finally, number one goes to a better field spell for the love of God. In 2022, Neo Space is not good enough. Sure, it makes Neos and the majority of the fusions have 3,000 attack, but really it's only played to keep the fusions on the board. We need something that does more for the deck. You gave the original elemental heroes like Avion, Burstin Strix, and all them two field spells. You gave them Skyscraper and Skystraper 2. So give us Neo Space 2. You have Skyscraper 2 Hero City. Give us Neo Space 2 Neos' apartment. I don't know. Just make it good. <laughs> like, seriously. You could make it where it has built-in protection, where the first time it would be destroyed by a card effect or even leave the field in general, it doesn't leave the field. Um, you can choose to bounce back a Neos Fusion monster to the extra deck, but if you do, you can summon out a new one in its place. That would be really good because then even if you're losing one, then you just get out another one for whatever situation that you're in. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed this little discussion. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating. Like I said at the beginning of the video, subscribe if you're new. We are trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. Let me know what you think about Neo support. What do you think that they need? Am I just out of my mind here? Am I just kind of on the wrong track? Uh, let me know because I really like Neos and Neos Patients. It's, it's like a guilty pleasure of mine, and I want to see the deck you know, do something in 2022. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.